New at 530, some officials at the University of Rhode Island are taking to social media after a public board of trustees meeting showed what they call disrepair in a number of the sports facilities on campus. The vice chair of the board, Mike McNally, is now calling on the state for help, saying state support is down 37 percent since 1980. Our Matt Paddock went to campus today and joins us in studio with the story. Matt. Kim, URI Athletic Director Thor Bjorn made a video for the Board of Trustees back on April 6th, pointing out and walking them through a wide range of issues across several of their facilities. Great deal of work is needed. From the stands at Meade Stadium, where students and fans cheer loud and proud for their roadie Rams. We had to find a creative way to meet the requirement of the reduced capacity due to fire code issues. The press box is certainly insufficient. There is no ADA accessibility to the pitch where soccer shines. Athletic director Thor Bjorn cites a lack of press box for sports network streams and outdated canopies to protect from the rain. Tent area with a concrete slab and certainly uh, not a good situation for us. I over on the diamond, very little seating for fans. And when it comes to the press box here, press box is almost dysfunctional and is also not ADA compliant. And when it comes to softball, the press box merely a shed. Bjorn says both the men's and women's dugouts are falling apart with neither stadium having concessions or restrooms, but a glaring issue for Bjorn. Track's been condemned. This needs to be torn up and, and redone, but our facilities are in such disrepair that it makes it very hard to try to attract the best possible students that can compete for us. A spokesperson for Governor Dan McKee sending 12 News a statement about the facilities, which reads in part, there has been a historical underinvestment at URI. The state has increased its unrestricted appropriation to the University of Rhode Island from 76.8 million in fiscal year 2021 to 99.2 million. And coming up tomorrow, I'll have an update on 12 News, taking a one-on-one -on -one tour of the sports facilities with Athletic Director Thor Bjorn. But reporting live in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.